Hello, oh, let's get inside first. Okay, okay. Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. This is Miles Luigi. Last episode, we picked up Herringway the Novelist, because he's who I believe is the murder suspect, because there is a piece of evidence pointing to it towards him, a piece of paper that says Herringway on it. Like any good mystery novel about a murder, or apparently one of the pieces of, of evidence that's common, I don't know how common this is in real life, but, uh, a piece of paper with the murder suspect's name on it. I said before, I don't know how common that is actually in real life, but it's sure the heck is common in many mystery murder novels. <laughs> but, uh... Herringway stands up for himself, as he should, and uh, the wife still says, I, I did it. And the green penguin's interested. And look, the mayor was just unconscious. He just fell on the back of his head and got knocked out. <laughs> and his wife totally overreacts. Best, best plot twist to a murder mystery. The person was never murdered in the first place. <laughs> That's indeed a plot twist. Especially if, like, the person who was murdered had a big knife wound, and everyone thinks he's murdered for, like, three or four days, and all of a sudden he comes back to life. As a zombie! Okay, not as a zombie. Anyway, he's like, aw, no commission. If he gets paid on commission, anyway. And he gets a brilliant idea for a new novel, here we. So now he's gonna write about the fake murder, but it's not gonna be titled The Fake Murder, it's gonna be titled like The Great Murder or something like that, whatever. I don't know, he's a better writer than I am. But he's gonna create this excellent novel where in the end, the murderer, or the murdered, was never murdered. Oh, I cannot leave the city. Screw this! Screw there was ever a murder. There was never a murder! Let's get out of here. <laughs> There was never a murder. I can imagine the press tomorrow. Mayor Penguin not murdered. This never happened. Buried in the seventh page. For those following around, following my guide, I guess, you are about to get ambushed. So prepare for the ambush. I think I'll put a power jump. There we go. I didn't restore our HP, so I'll go with the happy hearts. Some of you may have noticed my rather obvious inclination to use defensive setups than offensive setups, and my simple reasoning for that is my the fact I'm not using the power bounce badge, which is absolutely quintessential in an offensive setup. So I'm leaning, ooh, Junior Troopa, more towards defensive setups. I've been waiting for you, Mario. Mario, I've been here forever. I'm gonna be desperate to know how good Hermes is. Playing as a freezing and cold and nasty and angry guy is, and I can't take it anymore. I'm gonna get over here. I'm gonna be up in your car and head back to the place where you were for the ice point. Come on, let's go. Oh yeah, I've been busy around the most cool thing. Check this out. Ah! Look at this piece of art, I gotta take all of the cars on the side, and now you're gonna be left in the jam. Yeah, I'm gonna win this time. <laughs> the fact that it's cold doesn't bother Junior Trooper that much, actually, at least in there in the fights, um, good old adrenaline fights or flights. But, uh, he learned magic. He's fairly powerful, so either kill him quick or defensive setup, whatever is your cup of tea. I'm, uh, gonna go with defensive setup on this one. I don't really need this, but, eh, might as well. Do a chill out. Mario! Mario! You like magic tricks? You won't like this one! Eh, I won't like it when I don't dodge them. He still has a defense of one, so... Of course, that means bow isn't useful anymore on any enemy that has defense. So you can either blow him up or smack a paracarry shell into him. Whichever you want to do. Let's see if I can dodge this. There we go. But yeah, the way I got things set up, I could basically last 
forever against them. The happy hearts are going to keep me alive. The only thing I have to worry about is FP, possibly, but even that I don't have to worry about a lot. Because I'll basically just survive as long as the uh, chill out effect. Hooray! For a defensive setup. And, uh, he's dead. In fact, I don't think I have to blow him up. I think I can body slam him to death. Slam! Ah! Okay. No! No! I'm gonna go ahead and, um, uh, A, sleep, and B, take care of those power blocks that I was, uh, holding before. Sell. Power block. Yes, buy it. Sell. Power block. So, I'm also gonna store one of the items, even though I brought these items over in the first place. I'm gonna store the shroom steak. Preparing for the future here a little bit. And it's not 100% necessary, but we'll also take a nap. There we go. Be nice and warm after beating Junior Troopa. We just left him out there, didn't we? Ice potato. That will be useful later. Okay. Yeah, we just left Junior Trooper out there. I wonder how he's doing. Better go take a look. And oh my gosh, he is a, now a popsicle. <laughs> yeah, he's a popsicle. He's not going anywhere anytime soon. He's gonna probably become a fossil. That's nice. I don't have to deal with him anymore. That's very nice. Star piece warning. There is a star piece down here. There we go. There's a few other secrets in this room. There's a letter in here. A letter. And finally, a repel gel. There we go. Before I move on to the next section, let me uh, prepare myself for the next area, of course. So we're going to take off a lot of these badges. Put on Sleepy Stomp. That's a useful badge up ahead. Um... Oh, feeling fine. Feeling fine is an absolute must in the next area unless you want to die. I'm going to put back on the money money, the dizzy tick, and why did I take off refund? Feeling fine. Put it on unless you want to die. I'm just going to leave it at that because we're going to run into some new enemies. Oh my gosh, they look rather um, interesting. I don't know what to call these big things from... Early enemies, how about that? I can't think of a good way to describe them. Probably make a good plushie. <laughs> good huggle plushie. Yes, they attack you using a source of rocks, which you can actually attack, but I usually consider that a fairly useless move. We're just gonna watch this attack here, yeah. And if you didn't have feeling fine, you'd be dead. Well, actually, no, you wouldn't be dead. You'd be frozen and in a position to be dead. And we're also going to tattle the frost piranha. They're frozen piranhas. They freeze you, which is why you put on feeling fine, or else you can't do a damn thing. You can't even run away. <laughs> You're dead. I'm just going to leave it at that. You're dead. Oh, Cooper, I miss using you. You are so useful here. Fire Shell, your new ability you gain. Watch what it'll do. Boom, 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 boom. There is no air enemies around here. So they all get hit, and they're all almost dead. I like that. I like that a lot. Whee. 
That took a little bit more damage than I expected from that battle. That's a battle that can actually kill you if you aren't careful and aren't properly set up. <laughs> we have a letter and a block of ice, don't we? Uh, no we don't. We're almost at, uh, ooh. Boy. Turn back. Come no further. Turn away or I'll eat you. What do you think, Sky Monster Hunter? You know you want to run. He just, or she just, or he just, or it just kind of stains there. We got a monster in our way. I wonder if I should go uh, heal, because I am a little low on HP before I fight this thing. This thing looks a little menacing. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, I'll let you guys decide for the next episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. So yeah, should I fight, or should I go heal, or what should I do? This is Miles Luigi.